Yo, so what's up YouTube? Uh, lots of good things going on on uh, YouTube uh, these days in the worlds of uh, fruitarians and uh, vegans and raw foodists and the like. Um, I've kind of been enjoying it all, but I don't really get into drama, but I guess, uh, you know, when you don't have television and you're disconnected from all that uh, nonsense, it's not, um, it's not the worst thing in the world to have a little entertainment. Um, I'm actually making this video in support of uh, Harley Dorian riders. Uh, not that I'm picking sides uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, uh, I really like what this guy uh, Harley Dorian riders is doing lately. Um, he's been someone who's came through the U.S. before. Uh, I live in uh, the area right around. Uh, I live in Philadelphia, um, right by uh, Arnold, Co close to you know, in the community, uh, close enough to uh, Arnold Kaufman's uh, raw vegan shop, Arnold's Way. So Durian Riders has come uh, um, through there. Uh, he's met my brother and shit before. So I was introduced to him uh, you know, a long time ago. And uh, you know, I've been following him on and off ever since. But uh, I really like what he's talking about right now about uh, backup plans and uh, shit like that. Because in the practical world, uh, and let me show you a bit about what I mean about the practical world. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I'm trying to figure out how you flip and reverse this camera. but. I don't know, as you can see, I'm out, out in this uh, snow right now. You know, it's been like 20-something degrees here in Philadelphia this week, whatever. Um, you know, there's not fresh fruit uh, growing on any of these trees. Uh, you know, there, ne there never really is. Um, I live in a, a very industrialized uh, metropolitan area where there are no fruit trees. And, and uh, I don't make any excuses, but it... What I'm saying is it makes sense for someone for someone to give backup plans to individuals. Um, and it's amazing to see how many people who say they uh, are raw really aren't. And uh, you know, I think that's all anyone's really touching on is just like, you know, let's just, let's just keep it transparent. As they say, let's just keep it 100. And uh, let's not be, pretend to be something that we aren't. Um, you know, let's just call it what it is. Uh, don't snow the snowman. And, um, you know, that's what we got going on. So, um, you know, honestly, for me, it's like, you know, I don't, I don't really give a shit about a fruit fest. Uh, I was, I was uh, actually thinking about going uh, to the fruit fest this year. Um, I emailed them because I thought it would be a good opportunity. I work for this uh, organic uh, dried fruit company that uh, benefits the uh, sustainable development of uh, Uganda. And... Um, it's for a good cause and it's a good product for uh, vegans and uh, people who are looking for, uh, you know, uh, good good snacking options. Uh, you know, when you're on a long hike or things like that, we know have access to fresh fruit. And uh, the lady uh, emailed me, I think it was Victoria, and just said that, you know, they only, um, you know, promote fresh fruit and things like that. And I could understand that, but, um, you know, I was thinking in winter, you know, dried, dried fruit it actually becomes really popular. Uh, and it's actually a lot more logical uh, when we think about uh, natural climates. Like if I lived in Pennsylvania, uh, like my ancestors, it would be a lot more practical for me to have dried fruit in the winter as opposed to fresh fruit. It would be impossible for me to have fresh fruit. Um, you know, we're lucky in the United States now to have these, uh, you know, unbelievable fruit prices. Uh, very economical. We have basically the best uh, fruit selection in the world. And yeah, it's not as great. Um, you know, in, in peak ripen season and, you know, in the summer months, but we get fruit shipped um, over to us uh, all over the world. I have a lot of the macrobiotics people that, uh, you know, are, I don't really argue with them, but they tell me that, you know, they don't, they don't eat, um, they don't eat tropical fruit in the winter and all this stuff. They don't eat bananas and pineapples and all this stuff and mangoes and, uh, really a lot of fruits, papayas, and uh, you can really go right on down the line um, of fruits they don't eat. Uh, various different ideologies like this, and I mean, I think another point of this video is just, you know, what the hell do you eat? Um, and uh, now I've been, I've been, you know, uh, dietary, dietarily conscious for over four years now, and I'm proud of that, you know. I, I came from uh, zombie America and the standard American diet, and, uh, you know, I was never introduced to a plant-based protein really much in my entire life. Um, you know, anything like that. And um, it's just, we're all coming from, you know, some people are raised vegetarian. Uh, some people 
I have parents that are really into into this stuff when they were younger or, or juiced or made smoothies or various things like that. And uh, a lot of the people in the health community actually come from um, families of, like that. But we all just need to take in, uh, into account that we're all coming from different places. We're all living in different climates and microclimates on different continents. Like, you know, you can look at your YouTube, uh, you know, see who's watching YouTube videos and I'm more likely to have people, you know, from all over the world watching this video than someone, you know, right next to me in Pennsylvania. So, um, you know, we're making these um, videos for, for all different types of folks, man. And it's just all about love. Like, it's not about, you know, us judging one another and saying, oh, well, you know, this person's having this and this person's having that. But, um, you know, it's really just, just about love. And, I mean, I think everyone can agree it's about eating fresh, uh, you know, preferably organic fruits and vegetables. I mean, that, that's what this is about, yo. And, um, you know, I, ideally raw, but always vegan and uh, always high carb, uh, like Darian Ryder said. And, you know, I was, I was checking out uh, my man Dan the Man. Um, like, like Harley, I, I, don't, I don't hate Dan the Man, but uh, when you have, like, thousands and thousands of people following you and you're promoting uh, low-carb starvation, like, he just came out and said it in his video yesterday, like, like, I don't, he said, I don't at all promote high carb by any stretch. I don't agree with that. I, I uh, actually believe in calorie restriction is what he said. You know, watch the video he put up yesterday. Uh, I think it was 12.8 or 12.9, uh, 2013. And, you know, if that's what you believe in, there's nothing wrong with that. But um, it's, it, is, it is kind of funny how this dude, Darian Riders, gets kicked out of the 80-10-10 shit just for giving people backup plans when this guy's literally coming out and saying I'm not a vegan <laughs> he says in his video yesterday I'm not a vegan I consume lots of bee pollen he said nothing has an amino acid profile like bee pollen I mean come the fuck on dude like nothing has an amino acid profile like bee pollen I mean, there's plenty of things that have a uh, incredible amino acid profiles and 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 that are vegan and it's not for me like I'm coming from the mindset of, believe me, I wasn't raised this way. I, I, I fully remember what it's like to not be a vegetarian and to not be a vegan. So it's like, I'm not totally locked in that mind state. Uh, like some people are like, you know, just, just vegan, 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 vegan. Like, um, so I, 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 can, I can understand where you're coming from. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be vegan, uh, you know, to be good for you. But um, so far in the results of my body, I, I haven't really uh, ever really enjoyed anything isn't and I just think that's what's funny about it and that's what kind of connects us uh, cyclically with um, with the universe and with having compassion and compassion from uh, the Buddha heart having the Buddha mind and uh, how so many uh, you know folks out east uh, believe in uh, you know vegetarianism for a reason and not to get locked into isms and schisms but and, that, and that's what it's all about it's like these are cool ideologies and at the end of the day they really make sense like in, in every way they make sense for the planet they make sense for the ecosystems they make sense for our brothers and sisters and our brothers and sister deer and our brother and sister cow uh, right on down the line and they make sense for our bodies and that's that's what's amazing about this and like um, you know I was listening to this uh, you know a lot a lot of conscious folk know mortal technique and I was listening to his song like beef and broccoli he's got a good one about not being locked into the vegetarian ideology like he loves beef and broccoli and all this shit and I can understand where you're coming from but I think the one point you're missing is is that there's a really good argument that plant-based protein is better than animal-based protein for the human body and that yeah human beings uh, you know I think it's a good argument that human beings are natural herb herbivores and frugivores uh, preferably frugivores really if you look at uh, the primates we descend from who we're so close to in our DNA and um, I don't know I just think sometimes you really you're saying things not to convert someone to a vegan ideology, but you're saying it because you care about their health. And like, I mean, that I just this is like that's what this video is really about, and that's what this whole thing is about. Is like, it's this is a really good a really good point in uh, the raw food community and all these all this shit because you can just realize how everyone's just fucking judging one another. And uh, for years, I, I've never been into the whole raw vegan cult because it was it was like a cult. It's like oh, well, you're not raw, you're not 100% raw, you're having steamed rice and broccoli, then, um, you know, you're not part of this. And it's like, shit, I mean, if you're demonizing, like, organic steamed rice and organic steamed broccoli, like, being a small percentage of someone's diet to have once in a while, like, I don't know, I think that's crazy. Like, uh, 
brown rice is very good for you and brown rice is very similar to uh, fruits so you know there's only so much um, fresh fruit you can really consume in uh, one day around here in Pennsylvania especially in the winter so you know like for example today like what I ate so far you know I get a, I get a bunch of kiwis that are ripening I have like 30 kiwis that are ripening I ate the ripe ones today I ate all my ripe bananas I ate 10 ripe bananas uh, four ripe kiwis um, and that was that was it for my ripe fruit. I had some berries. Uh, I had a pint of blueberries, and I'll have a pint of blueberries uh, later. And that's what I'm saying. Like you know, it's and I'm, I'm about to go get some more uh, fresh fruit. But it's like in these situations right now, I'm really just battling with you know the fruit ripening process and uh, all that. It's like got pears ripening and got pineapples ripening, and it's uh, it is it's uh, it's a project, and it's it's like no no one's trying to uh, make any excuses. But then you have things like rice that. Um, you know, I don't, I don't get the same results off of fresh fruit as I get from rice, but I think rice is an adequate backup plan. And to de demonize someone who's being transparent and just saying, hey, look, like, I'm keeping it 100. I'm having, like, a little bit of uh, this or that, you know, I don't think is a bad thing. Um, but um, for me personally, um, like I said, I, I don't, I'm not uh, really locked in the judge and others, but uh, for me personally... Um, it's, it is always brown rice. It's not, it's not wheat. It's not semolina wheat. Uh, a lot of people are having, uh, these gluten allergies to, uh, genetically engineered wheat crops. Um, and there, there's, there, I've heard some really good arguments about the fungal infestation of the wheat crop, uh, due to, uh, gen genetically altering it, you know, years and years, decades and decades ago, um, when they tried to make it, uh, soft and fluffy. Now, wheat, remember, wheat is hard and coarse, so... You got wheat. We got your, your white bread for, for all these white folks out there, and and everyone else is buying into the shit too. It's soft and fluffy, and that's because it's been uh, spliced and engineered. Now keep in mind, it's not genetic modifications. It's um, it is uh, genetic engineering. It was like I think the first uh, you know true uh, you know in their in their mind successful genetic and en en uh, engineering um, experiment uh, that that really uh, was huge. Uh, it was, I don't think it was hybridization either. Um, I'm almost positive it wasn't. Um, so, anyway, uh, you know, after that you can look into uh, changes in the crop and uh, people getting into, uh, you know, a lot of people will talk about fungal infestations of, of the wheat crop after that, after they change the natural life patterns. Uh, various different uh, bacterial forms crept in. Um, you know, the plant couldn't fight against it, and uh, now we have a fungal infested wheat crop that's causing a lot of these uh, gluten intolerances and gluten allergies. Um, I don't know. I mean, one thing, you know, as, as you'll, you'll, you'll see about me is um, I'm with y'all. Like, I'm, I'm, out on the, I'm out on the streets. I'm talking to everyone face-to-face -face in the U.S., in the Philadelphia area. If you're shopping at a Whole Foods in Philly, you know me probably because... Uh, you know, I'm out and I'm um, supporting lots of uh, the raw vegan brands and I'm uh, help building them in this area. And, um, you know, and that's, and that's what it's all about. I mean, like, at the end of the day, it, it is like we, we all have to make a buck. And, uh, you know, I'm not out here selling superfoods or uh, bee ponds and shit like that. Like, I just keep it simple. You know, I do like a dried fruit, co organic dried fruit company and uh, some other, like, products that I really believe in. Uh, one of them is Amazing Grass. Um, you know, they make uh, wheatgrass, bar organic wheatgrass, barley grass, alfalfa grass, uh, raw, uh, you know, grasses, to easy way to get your greens, uh, things like that, you know. I certainly advocate eating uh, fresh greens over that, but it's a good thing to work for, you know, raw vegan companies. Um, I work for High Country Kombucha and, uh, you know, Tempt Hemp Milk. And um, it's another thing, like, I mean, I, I really... Uh, agree with Harley probably more than a lot uh, a lot of these people out there uh, some some people uh, I might even agree with uh, you know more than Harley like uh, my man health hop network uh, everyone should definitely ch check out dr. ATN at uh, at um, health hop network but um, um, anyway it's like uh, for me personally um, Right now I'm doing uh, more protein, certainly than 80-10-10. I've never been locked in the 80-10-10. Um, I like hemp protein. I like soy protein. I don't care if soy is not raw. Soy is not supposed to be consumed raw. Uh, people, you know, if you want to find out the truth about soy, you got to look into uh, studies in Okinawa, Japan. The people of, and I'll spell it out for you, O-K-I-N-A-W-A. -A. 
look into Okinawa, or I guess it's right outside of Japan, coastal, and um, the studies that were done on them, the people who consume uh, the most soy products in the entire world are the healthiest people in the entire world. Um, so, you know, that should definitely be uh, taken into account that a uh, little soy is not a bad thing. You know, you want to put, um, you know, add a little uh, protein to your smoothies to help uh, synthesize all the sugars. I mean, keep in mind uh, the massive, massive uh, amounts of uh, sugars you're taking in. Um, you know, in when I'm having, say, 15 bananas in my smoothie and all types of other fruit I'm added to it, it's good to have a little protein um, to help actually get uh, best utilization of the glucose. So, so that that's definitely a great thing. Um, and uh, so I'll, I'll I'll do a little protein. Um, so amazing grass. You know, we have a little a little protein uh, powder, and I'll I'll do some I'll do some vegan proteins. But you really got to be careful when you get into all these isolates and stuff like that. We're really just talking about whole foods. You want to keep it real natural. Um, so you know, if you really want to talk about if. Um, you know, if uh, you really want to talk about an impressive amino acid profile, uh, Dan the man, you could talk about hemp, you know, raw hemp protein. But, you know, I think Harley raises a really good point about, you know, how much of these things are really raw. And, uh, you know, you, you get into all that. So, I mean, we're, we're always, I think, going to revert right back to, we're all not going to agree 100%. But um, it truly is about, um, I think a lot of us, a lot of us will agree that it's about fresh, high carb, ripe fruits. And, um, and that's what it's about. I mean, that's what I'm getting my results from. Uh, you know, it's, it's not about, um, you know, low carb starvation and having a couple apples and shit like that. Um, yeah, I'm a different person when I got my fresh ripe fruit, when I got 10 bananas and a bunch of dates and pears and peaches and, uh, you know, something that's something that's good. If you're in the U S like me in a real cold state, you can get the, uh, organic, uh, frozen fruit. Um, there's some good brands out there for affordable prices and uh, you know it can really help get you through uh, something I've been using a lot more of is um, this coconut palm sugar yeah um, I love the coconut palm sugar uh, there's some good products out there um, and uh, this this one the, the, the I think the the best coconut palm sugar is from you know it should say uh, coconut palm sugar flower blossom nectar and um, you can really taste the difference in it. Um, it's a real nice, it looks like brown sugar, but you're going to taste the difference. And um, yeah, I don't do any refined sugars. I don't do any processed sugars, no, no uh, plain table sugar, you know, regular sugars or anything like that. I mean, these have all been heated. Um, and then after they're, you know, they're heated, um, you know, they're, they're cooked, they're cooked up and then they're um, liquefied because they're, they're heated to such a degree that they're liquefied. And, um, after that, they're obviously stripped of all their nutritional uh, vitality and uh, nutritional profile. And then from there, the, the, they're either kept in the liquid like evaporated cane juice, which is pure crap, or um, the evaporated cane juice is then turned into like granulated crystals, like uh, organic cane sugar. And uh, yeah, I mean, that stuff doesn't, I don't, I don't do well with that. Um, I feel like those sugars really sit in the gut. And um, yeah, I mean, that, that's just where I'm, I'm personally coming from. So I don't do anything like that. I actually do completely gluten-free. Um, I think, uh, you know, fucking uh, wheat is a joke, like I, like I outlined earlier. So um, it, I'm not completely raw, but I've got a lot of uh, dietary uh, ideals uh, based on uh, performance in my body, how I feel afterwards, uh, how I feel, you know, what gives me energy, and uh, all types of things like that. And... Um, but, uh, you know, I really just want to wrap this up now and just say that, uh, folks, you know, it's, it's, it's all about love here. Um, and, and we, we, we got it. We got to all be on a team. Um, you know, I know Arnold Kaufman has that mind state. I know Durian Riders has that mind state. It, you know, it really even seems like people like Dan, the man have that mind state. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know these people, you know, I don't know Christina or anything like that, but, um, I watch enough of Harley's videos to know that this guy actually wants what's best for people. He's telling people, um, you know, he's really helping people lose weight, man. And when you see fucking fat people like Harley sees them on a daily basis, or like I see them on a daily basis, when you're out in the stores and you're seeing people at Whole Foods, they're trying to do better. Like this is what's amazing about my job is that like, you know, 
I, I, I try. I don't even. You can't even force your ideology on onto someone. So it's just like you just want to be there for them. And you hear so many people, fat people that come up to me and they don't want to try my raw juice. Uh, they don't want to try my organic raw cold pressed juice because it has too much sugar and too mu too much carbs, and they're morbidly obese and they don't want to try that. They got a they got a cart full of some type of free range meat, and um, they're telling me the only reason I'm skinny is because I've got good genetics. And it's like no no no. When I was doing everything wrong, when I was 21 years old and and high eating high fat and drinking, I was starting to develop. A gut, uh, you know, uh, you know, every, guys out know how it is. Guys might even have similar experiences, like uh, little little rolls in the belly. Yeah, those are starting to come in. It's getting a little chunky uh, in the face, and um, yeah, once I went vegetarian in the first couple months, uh, I lost several belt sizes. My neck tightened up, my face tightened up, uh, all that shit. Uh, there's a lot of fat, and uh, fat's disgusting. And I'll tell you uh, one more interesting thing. Um, about it is when I was like 21, 22, not taking care of myself at all, I was starting to bald. Like, I was fucking, my hairline was fucking receding, receding. And uh, as I'm sure everyone, you know, knows in my videos, like now I've got long, you know, long locks of, of hair. I mean, so it's, it's crazy. Like, once you go vegetarian, um, you know, how much your hair can, hair can fucking grow. Um, and you know that that's really what it's about so lately I, I looked up I looked this up online and I was like you know why um, you know how's this possible and yeah excess animal fats like too much high fat too much of these excess animal fats um, yeah they're actually talking about like cutting off the capillaries um, um, like that lead to the hair follicles and, uh, and and forming blockages there so the hair can't grow and that this is all backed up scientifically so that was that was uh, one hell of a realization to realize. Um, that, sorry for the repetition there. Uh, one hell of a realization to realize, but um, you know, to understand that um, you know, wow, you know, this is some real life shit, and it wasn't it wasn't just uh, you know happening to me. That you know, a lot of this alcohol and, and too much, not enough living fruits and vegetables, and too much animal fats is uh, it, it, it's slowly causing you to die and that's why your hair is turning gray and that's why it's falling out because you're dying at a cellular level and uh, you know and that, that's what I love about this life now is that like I'm fully alive like I'm in the best shape of my life at 27 like way better shape than I was when I was uh, you know 18 19 you know playing on all these sports and shit like that but just feeling totally different and uh, you know you just know the fucking difference and uh, you know I'm just trying to get out there too right now and say you know it is. It's fucking. It's high. It's high carb. It's low fat. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be like extremely uh, low fat. Like I don't demonize. Like if you, if really, you know, can get some. Um, you know, if you have access to some raw coconut shipped over from uh, raw, like young green coconut shipped over from Thailand, or you know, some um, durian or some avocados and shit like that. You know, it's not the worst thing in the world. But you know, ideally, you're, you're keeping it. Uh, you are keeping it uh, low fat. Um, you know, when you're looking at the blood and uh, you just, you just don't want it to get, uh, you don't want to get too sluggish in there. And if I do too, do too, uh, too much high, high fat, I, I do get a bit sluggish and uh, you know, all these nuts are cooked, all these oils are cooked. Uh, you know, it's just like, I've, I've done so much of these cooked vegan meals, you know, and all this shit. And, uh, it's just not the same energy flow. Um, and I think that's what it's, it really gets down to with me for being, uh, the low fat part is, uh. It's just not. It's just not the same prana. It's not the same life force with a lot of this uh, cooked food stuff. Like, I when I eat, I want to be energized afterwards, and there really is no exceptions. And if I have to have a backup plan, yeah, it's it's, it's steamed vegetables and steamed rice with. Uh, you could throw a little like Bragg's like liquid aminos on there, some shit like that. Uh, that's 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 not going to bog you down and give your give your food a little flavor. You don't want to cover it in salt and refined sugars and all this nonsense. You know, you could keep it natural with herbs. Like I like to flavor it with some little uh, garlic or some herbs. Um, you know, things like that. And um, you know, and I mean, it's just like get, yeah, give yourself backup plans and and don't get stuck in uh, these dogmatic ideologies and don't listen to every single thing that I'm saying. You know, it's just like. If, if we can all just be our own gods and goddesses in, in a way and um, you know it's just like just like you know treat your body like it's it's it's, it's your temple like this is your temple um, and it's like 
you're gonna feel you're gonna feel the light like when you start taking care of yourself and you start listening to your body you're gonna know what's you truly know what's best for you um, just listen to your body everyone's gonna be a little bit different I mean maybe maybe you're you don't have the uh, weed allergies that I have or maybe you deal with the uh, you know refined processed uh, highly refined and highly processed uh, you know white sugars better than I do uh, things like that you know if, if that's all you have access to then that's not a bad thing I mean I think, you know, what Harley is trying to say the whole time is what we're pro trying to prevent is fucking starvation. Like, like if you listen to your body, you know that it's always better to eat, even if it's not up to all your expectations and than not eat anything at all. I mean, it's, it's shit, man. It, it's shit to not eat anything at all. And I actually knew about Dan the Man before I ever knew about Harley. And I listened to his bullshit about, you know, uh, you know, trying to stay 100% raw and if not just don't eat anything at all and then you're doing some type of super cleanse and all this shit you know fuck that man and that's what that's one of the reasons why um, I don't support Dan the man uh, is is dude that that's that's some crazy shit you know and that's why uh, you know uh, the Harley message vibrates with me much more it's like you know stay energized like we're eating to become energized and look at Dan the man he's like falling asleep through half his fucking videos um, he probably had a couple shots of espresso you know before the video so you know, you just, you just got to keep it 100, keep it legit, and uh, people who are keeping it legit in this community, uh, you know, just, just band together, because, uh, you know, I, I know people in uh, Pennsylvania over at Arnold's, uh, you know, people are honest if they're not 100% raw, and and just keep it that way. I mean, I don't think anyone that really hangs out at Arnold's too much really, like, really is 100% raw. Everyone, um, and it's not, and don't, don't even say cheats, like, it's not about cheating, like, humans are allowed to have cooked foods, like, do you know that beta carotene is released uh, to, like, an nth degree higher, it's, it's over ten times higher uh, in cooked carrots than regular carrots, like, there's advantages to cooked carrots, there's advantages to raw carrots, um, there's advantages to carrot juice, and, and I do them all, because I fucking love carrots, and it's, like, my favorite vegetable, and it's a very high sugar vegetable. And uh, it reminds me the most of fruit of the veggies. It has a little bit of carbs to it too. So carrot's a good one there, and it's a good example of uh, you know, you know, cooked food is, isn't bad. I mean, what's bad is what's bad is too much oil and too much fat and being sluggish after you eat. That's what's bad, and that's what people are saying. Don't eat too much cooked food and too much of these processed foods. What you want is energy. So if you're having a little steamed vegetables and you have energy afterwards, like we said, it's not the same as 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 your fruit smoothie, but if it's a little something to get you by for a dinner, it's a lot. It's a lot much better. It's so much better than you know looking at someone, you know, finding someone in a food court wolfing down McDonald's or you know I just can't make it. Vegetarian's not for me. My body's just rejecting it, and all, all these fussy, fucking excuses uh, you heard. You, you, you folks stuck with me for 27, 28 minutes now. You've been patient. I'm gonna let you roll. You know, it's all about peace and love and giving thanks to the creation, and, and that's what we're trying to do. Uh, you know. Um, you know, we are manifesting our own destiny and creating our own realities and, uh, you know, just realize that truly, manifesting our own de destinies and creating our own realities and just give thanks and praises to the creator and, and, and take care of your temple and treat your body like your temple and don't go, go out and binge this weekend and get, and get fucked up and, and uh, love yourself, man. It all starts with loving yourself and, you know, we can do some more self-help and self-work videos and I can tell you what's worked with me and got me out of my uh, depression and haze years ago to uh, where I am now, thriving. And, uh, you know, uh, really, really looking forward to a beautiful 2014. All right, blessings and peace. Uh, love. One love.